contents of the World Wide Web! This is my first ever vlog with an actual proper topic. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. No, really, really, no need to bow to me. Let's just have a party. But you'll need to bring me alcohol because I'm still young to actually buy it. I can drink it though. Did you know that in the UK, the legal drinking age to drink in your own home is five? Or so it was the last time I checked. I probably should have researched it before I actually, you know, switched the camera on, but what can you do? So today's topic is a guide to boredom. Now I recently have had the pleasure of having my laptop taken away from me. I have not been grounded, no. I just have a fluffing rubbish hard drive, don't I? Something finally goes right for me and then BAM! Karma comes and smacks me on the ass for probably something that I've done years ago. But I deserve it, so... Can't complain, can ya? Oh, if you're lucky enough to be put in my position and you have to go hours without your laptop and you spend all your time worrying about whether your three generation legacy on The Sims 3 is ruined, then you should probably check out this video because, well, here are a few hints and tips to help you get through the dark, lonely, depressing, boring, generally nasty days where you have no... <coughs> Number one, books. Either download or buy a load of books and read. Birds are good, they make you intelligent. And we all know this earth could do with some intelligent people. I actually had to unattach my iPhone from my hand long enough so I could actually pick my Kindle up and read it. You know, read like a normal person. You leave technology alone for a bit, you know, just let your eyes chill from all the electronics and just turn a good page, you know. Oh, that's kind of a lie because Kindles are technology, aren't they? So. <laughs> I really can't live without technology, can I? And I finally got around to starting Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. I'm about eight chapters into it though, so I haven't actually finished it yet. Number two, video games. Now is the chance to go back and redo on some of the video games that you just haven't played for a very long time. Since my second favourite video game has been out of reach then for a good few days. I've had to get the old Nintendo out and actually go back to playing Kingdom Hearts because there was this one section that I just couldn't get past and it really wound me up. <laughs> so I thought, you know, start the game again. Why not? You've got time. It's not like you've got anything better to do apart from coursework. So, you know, you might as well just get Kingdom Hearts out and badger with it. So yeah, I got my Nintendo out, loaded Kingdom Hearts up and out, I was playing it like a bounce. Although I haven't actually finished that yet either. <laughs> Number three, sleep. Have you had a bad night's sleep because you've been too busy worrying about your baby to actually get a 40 wing? Use this time to take a little very long power nap. You've earned it, buddy. I didn't do that. Number four, YouTube. Watch all the videos you missed from your favorite YouTubers over and over and over again. <laughs> Thank God for the YouTube app on the iPhone. The other day I was watching loads of girls on YouTube. Not in a creepy way, just like watching them get dressed and stuff. That sounded wrong. My word, did it save my life or what? Number five, catch up without standing coursework that you just haven't been doing because you've just been too lazy. If there's a laptop or another computer in your house that is connected to both the internet and the printer, you have no excuses. Really, you don't. I'm looking right at you. Mm-hmm, you right there with the eyes and the hair and the skin. You have this time free, so spend it wisely. No one is gonna hate you for getting an A in that God awful history assignment that you don't even want to do. You know, practice what you preach, man. You moan at Michael Go for not doing that. Oh! Or you could just do all of the above. You're no longer a recluse. Or in, at least until you get your baby back. <laughs> if you've never been in this situation before, then lucky you. But there will come a time when you will need this guide, so. 
watch it, take it in, take notes, do exactly what I say and you'll be great. You really won't be great, you'll die. If you have been in this situation before, then it sucks, don't it? Really it does. I didn't realise how much of a laptop freak I was until it was taken away from me. And then I just spent every second like, ah, so hard. So that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching. Muchos lobos and all that. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! So I'm about to try and sit upside down with two dogs in the house. Wish me luck! That's not happening anytime soon.